Okay guys, today I'm gonna to talk about one piece of survival equipment I carry everywhere. Now, what I mean by this is that in different survival situations, whether you're on the water, whether you're on land, wherever you go, you know, high alpine, uh, muskegs, tundra, uh, the tundra, the boreal forest, you know, there's tons of different environments just here in Alaska alone. But there is one piece of survival equipment that I carry with me everywhere, and I think it probably shows it. But this right here is a personal locator beacon, and I wanted to talk about why I think everyone should carry PLBs and why I carry one myself. Okay, so let's talk about them. So this is, like I said, a personal locator beacon, and mine in particular here is the ACR Rescue Link 400. Now, ACR makes a plethora of different Rescue Link uh, personal locator beacons, but these little guys right here serve a very simple function. Now, there are several different brands that make them. Some of them are a little bit uh, more advanced. I know Garmin makes their inReaches, and Spot makes their own devices as well. I usually go with ACR because they are really just a very simple, very basic system and these do not have any fancy messaging or you know kind of texting but at the same time too they also don't have any program with a monthly payment system you just have it and it's a uh, one and done kind of system now all plbs are also a little bit expensive you can expect to spend around 400 dollars per plb but once again being the fact of what they do, I think it's pretty important. So I do not mind spending the little bit of money that it requires to have something that's so handy like this. So for those that don't know what a PLB is, essentially all they are is a personal locator beacon, which means that they, they serve the simple function of when pressed, when pressed, they send a signal out to GPSs that is essentially a distress signal that allows S or that allows SAR or search and rescue to find your location very accurately and very quickly. Now, granted, there may be a price to that, so you do truly only want to use a PLB if you are really in a bad situation, if you know you've run the risk of hypothermia, if you have broken a limb and you physically cannot get out from where you're at. Those types of situations are where you'd want to use something like this, is in a true dire survival situation. Even if you're in a survival situation and you think think you can get out or you are very you're very confident you can get out you'd still probably not want to use one of these this is truly only if you know you are not going to be able to make it out of the back country so that's kind of what a plb is for and what it does now like i said there's different companies that make ones that are slightly more advanced i like the acrs because they are very basic and they're kind of a one and done kind of forget about it system now one thing you do also want to keep in mind with these plbs is you do have to register them with noaa so at least if you're here stateside if you're in places like alaska or the Continental Lower 48, you do have to register these with NOAA, and there is a instructions on how to do that. You just basically go to beaconregistration.noaa.gov, and then you basically, uh, from there, just register it, tell them what kind of device you have, uh, what the uh, serial number is for it, and then you register it. And you do have to do that before you can use it, because that is essentially how the satellites know what signal is being sent. They know that this is the beacon that's sending it, and so that's part of how you uh, activate your PLB. So do make sure you do that, because you don't want to just buy one of these, throw it on your kit, think that it's ready to go, and it not actually be good to go. So that is one thing to note about them. Other things I do like about the ACR Rescue Links is that they are very water and weather resistant. They're a sealed unit, unlike some of the inReaches or spots. I believe most of the spots are pretty well sealed and all of them are very weather resistant, but the ACRs are just a sealed package. There's no way in or out. Also the UI on ACRs also, the UI or user interface for ACRs is very nice. I do have my antenna taped down, but essentially all you do is you pop your antenna out of this little spot right here, flip your antenna up, and then you hit your emergency call button. Very easy to do in distress and very uh, 
very useful. So ultimately, you know, I do a lot of survival uh, videos and talking about survival kits and survival equipment, but uh, one of the most important things you can carry, honestly, is something like a PLB as a last ditch fail safe, because having saws, having axes, hatchets, knives, guns, all that stuff does help with surviving, harvesting off the land, you know, building shelters and stuff. And don't get me wrong, just because you hit your survival button on a PLB does not mean that you know search and rescue instantly shows up at your doorstep or you know instantly wherever you're at you know it takes time for those systems to get activated to come to where you're at so there's a very high chance that if you do use a plb you still may need to build a fire to stay warm you still may need to build a shelter to protect yourself from the elements you still may need to get water you know this isn't a guarantee that the search and rescue is going to show up right then and there but what it does mean is it gives you an extra ability and a fighting chance to signal search and rescue to where you're at because one nice thing about this is even if you do say, you know, leave your travel or plans with a person that will report them to search and rescue if you go missing, which is important and you should do that. Uh, but if you do end up running into a survival situation before that kind of designated call time, uh, you can end up spending a lot less time out in the wilderness fighting for your life fighting to survive by having something like a PLB that immediately notifies search and rescue of distress. So ultimately, that is the reason why I choose PLBs, why I like them. Some people choose not to carry uh, personal locator beacons. And if that is your way, that's totally fine too. But I think that for what they are and for what they cost, they are pretty solid options. And once again, if you do find yourself in an extreme circumstance where you know you aren't going to be able to walk out, uh, this is going to be one of your best friends. So anyways, that's a personal locator beacon. Like I said, I carry it. Usually, usually it lives on my personal survival kit, but if I'm going into the water, I'll put it on a life vest. Uh, if I'm going anywhere else where I need to dis disconnect it from my PSK, I will disconnect it from the PSK and put it on another piece of equipment. So definitely make sure that I always have a PLB on me uh, when I'm out in the wilderness, because like I said, Alaska is crazy. It's large. And, uh, you know, even if they know the general area where you're supposed to be, search and rescue still may have a hard time finding you. So anyways, guys, that is the PLB. And it is one piece of survival equipment I always have on me. As always, guys, God bless and I'm out.